थैंक यू येस सम ऑफ यू मेट मी दिस मॉर्निंग फॉर द मास्टर क्लास हाउ लवली होप यू इंजॉयड इट होप यू लैंड एड कमिंग फॉर कोचिंग मास्ट्री और राइट लेट्स यू ऑल आर हियर सॉर्म के थर्टी सिक्स अखिल्या चंद्रिमा चैटर्जी नायर नायरता आर्ट इंस्पायर मी मोर टुडे डन जैसे बोलो <laughs> अर्चना यस ऑफ कोर्स यू आर देयर दिस मॉर्निंग ओ हाय पूजा माय एंजल हु सेट्स योर हेयर आई जस्ट डिड आई जस्ट फिनिश सेटिंग माय हेयर इन केप I feel so sick now and then. Whenever I start to plan something important, please suggest how to overcome the anxiety. Shandrima, a lot of times, actually, I always feel like the stronger you are, the more your body will actually try to stop you from living your best life. Because the when the mind becomes strong, the body starts to play those games with you. But you know what? If you don't listen to your body and you keep going, you'll even overcome the body issues. like literally there was a time maybe about 2 3 months ago where i would have severe allergies but i would take my class during the class the allergy wouldn't come it would be there before and after i'll be blowing my nose i'll be having swollen eyes and just during class it would go away and the one thing i did was i did not listen to my body for some time and then the body started to cooperate so see if that works for you sweetheart sau bana sau bana my sweethearts oh so sweet I know you are there to inspire many many people who are lost. Afo that is so sweet of you darling. I'm so glad I can do that because you know what the journey has literally been that I was lost in my life and I had promised God that if I'm able to find myself through all of the exercises and processes and perspectives that I looked at, looked for in the world then I'm going to help other women do the same. So I'm so glad that God has given me the opportunity today to serve others and that I was able to help myself and therefore able to help all of you. Radhika 2130 how to control childhood traumatic triggers in family. Yeah. So Radhika that's a deep one. Uh, one of the biggest understandings is the story or the narrative we have given to our trauma. So the more we have accusation blame a uh, complain in it the more we will land up getting triggered faster if you can re phrase all of what happened to you with a new packaging that changes everything so what i'm going to just give you a random example so let's say someone was hit very severely as a child okay and every time they would do anything wrong they would get um, physically abused now how can you repackage that so maybe up till a certain age that was the trauma you're carrying but may, now you can write out why your mother or father would have done that what were they going through in their life what could be happening in their life that they removed it on you not that it makes it right but when you start to understand the perspective then that is from the angle of your parents if you can write a letter from your parents to yourself that really helps another thing is for the divine to give you your soul imprint which is why did your soul choose parents who would hit you what does your soul want to learn on earth maybe it is all about learning to stand up for yourself maybe it is about justice maybe it is about patience maybe it is about i don't know what that journey is but the minute you realize that all of the challenges and problems in my life are for me to learn dash and the more your soul learns that the more lesser those kind of lessons will come into your life so while i do believe that at the earth plane everything feels like it's happening to us the minute we actually look at everything from the soul journey we will realize we chose these problems to grow on earth and once you have that realization then everything starts to make sense around the fact that you know what what if everything that's happening to me is for my good it's because the universe is friendly it's because the universe has my back it is because someone out there is wanting me to grow into becoming the bestest version of myself and once you have those kind of stories it becomes very easy to start to look at the people you get triggered by as your disguised angels 
that if they were not there today you wouldn't be who you've become and you know what who you have become you have to learn to fall in love with because the more you're going to love yourself the more easier you're going to find uh, to be able to love others and the more you're going to love yourself others find it easier to love you yeah so see if you can sit down and recreate a new narrative around why this person would have done this to you why god has chosen this journey for you and last but not the least you can even choose to write a letter from your older self to your younger self that it will all work out that you will you will overcome all of these challenges that you know what you will find your way if you can give a letter of assurance to that younger self so that every time you get triggered you go back to assurance you know today when i look back at having gotten married so young or not having to go to college or all those traumas that i felt were so severe for me i can look back and say because i have converted every tragedy of mine into an opportunity because i have one one in life i can look back at these things and smile and say you know what had they not happened i wouldn't be who i am today see if you can go on a journey like that where eventually you thank the problems of your life for making you who you are today and that not even for a minute you would exchange your problems because you wouldn't want to exchange who you are becoming yeah see if you can work with all of this of course the topic you're talking about is not easy if you're not able to do it yourself childhood trauma especially uh, when getting when you get intervention that's a far better way to get help for yourself so intervention is just basically finding a therapist a healer a counselor all of these people coaches all of them can help you so look for the one that you get most attracted to or the most the one you most connect with that's the one who will be able to go deepest with you oh so sweet rama saying hi ma'am you're so wonderful thank you rama priyanka hello oh rai aarti saying wow we wait for wednesday's puja you are pure magic so sweet sangeeta saying hi puja can we affirm for my son he's 24 years old and is having a meltdown you can bless your son okay so we can't really manifest for our children we can't design their destiny we can't um, predict anything for them what we can do i want you to imagine yourself as the roots of a tree of which he is the fruit of that tree so eventually it's the roots that supply all of the all of the food the nutrition and all of that so the fruits of the tree depend a lot on the roots of the tree right so while the roots can't change the fruit the roots can make the fruit very healthy so all you need to do is just send a lot of blessings okay keep blessing your baby and that blessings will convert into opportunities into miracles into pure luck all of that will start to happen in his life you know the more you can hold space for the child when he is having a meltdown or whatever he is going through remember the world we live in right now is not the bestest place there is just so much of uh, restless energy there is so much of sadness with all of these wars going on that children are not being able to cope at so many levels our society is not created to support youngsters unfortunately so therefore we are going to have to start to think of how can you show up to be there for your own children one of the ways is to pray for them is to bless them both of these help you can affirm but that affirmation will affirmations are to reprogram your brain so affirming for him is not going to reprogram his brain right so affirmations won't work as much as blessings will to increase the volume some of you are requesting for volume increase yeah oops it came off right to the bottom okay sonika hi pooja i'm willing to learn yoga properly right from the basics can you please suggest more on that how sonika are you expecting me to suggest more on yoga i'm not a yoga teacher i have a fabulous yoga teacher but i am not a yoga teacher uh, i can only suggest to you that in any kind of service you want to create a level 1 level 2 level 3 you go learn get your elp i call it the explorer 
learn practice so if you're just a beginner in yoga i want you to explore 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 yoga and then um i'm willing to learn yoga properly right from the basics you mean for yourself superb so see if you can find a teacher who's fabulous the quality of your teacher decides the quality of your subject rather if you go back in school and notice which were your favorite subjects you'll notice it was actually the teacher that made the subject so amazing and when the teacher went away even you your interest in the subject went away so the better the teacher the better your the better that subject will be so look for sonika a fabulous teacher yeah priyanka pinky pintu my mother in law is always pointing out everything my parents do i don't want to stay in this house always the same thing happens every time what to do i have fought with them so priyanka one of the things we land up doing with the people we don't like is we tell them what it is that we don't like and the more we tell them what we don't like the more they do it because now they have weapon in their hands now they know to upset you is so easy so you've literally taken the remote control of your life and gift, gifted it to her okay now instead of getting upset when they keep pointing out on what your parents do i want you to start smiling that they are so insecure about the setup that if they don't put your parents down they don't feel better about themselves the day you realize that no one can insult you without your permission that no one saying anything you know i'll have people who'll be typing and trolling my parents in my chat box sometimes now it doesn't happen so much but right in the beginning when i had started they will be writing things they don't even know my parents they'll be writing stuff and for a minute i used to be like oh my god what are they writing till i was like really pooja do you want to react to every sentence that somebody says so while i know that trolling is not personal i want you to start to look at your in-laws in a manner that they need to put your parents down to feel better about themselves they need to you know most of the people when they criticize someone you're criticizing someone because it makes you feel better about who you are it makes you feel like main to nahi karti you know all of that my suggestion take the remote control back you know whenever someone says something to me in my head you know what my response always is thank you pooja you are so stubborn thank you pooja you are so um, you know bossy thank you pooja you are so greedy thank you pooja you are so ambitious thank you it doesn't matter some of the people will be saying it with so much of like wanting me to feel the hurt you know oh you know you were working all the years your children were small you left your husband for 2 2 3 3 weeks sometimes and went off oh my god you are to they will put it across so badly in my head i'm like you know what i'm so sorry but your opinion is not important to me the day you want your opinion to be important to me first you actually should make a difference in my life i am going to just tell you the same thing priyanka you're fighting a fight that you will never win okay my suggestion get out of the fight itself this is not a fight you can win in the hierarchy of life in laws are above you whether you like it or not they are above you okay and the more you fight with them guess who's suffering your dear darling husband and in the process of making him suffer guess who is going to take out all his frustration on little bit on them little bit on you and it's going to damage your relationship with him no because when he doesn't stand up for you how annoying and frustrating it is for you but he can't control his parents his parents are adults so i want you to change this full equation and get your husband onto your side when he sees that they criticize your parents and you don't react rather you go you know what they are like this only i understand okay don't worry they are saying anything is not going to change my parents destiny or my parents life let them say what they like you and me are together in this when you change it and you become the powerful one today if we say something about shahrukh khan or katrina kaif or deepika padukone you think they are going to care you don't like her in a swimming costume that's your problem she's not going to stop wearing one because you don't like it correct i want you to empower yourself enough that you start to feel like what these people have to say not my monkey not my circus i'm not willing to participate in the drama of life Can I tell you most of us women who are participating in these dramas is because we are jobless. I don't mean to be rude to anyone but the truth is when you have a mission greater than yourself and you have a purpose to walk towards you'll automatically see all of this drama just disappearing because you won't have the luxury to participate in this drama. Most of us are participating in this drama or trying to control other people because our focus is other people. If your focus is going to be other people guess what is not going to happen a beautiful future in front of you because you're going to remain stuck in this energy toxic people toxic environment creates more toxic people more toxic environment.
But the day you say, you know what, they go low, I go high. I'm not going to give them the importance. I'm not going to allow these such people to have any control over my moods. I'm sorry, I'm taking my remote control back. You know, somebody spat on Buddha and Buddha instead he smiled back. Okay, so they said, how come you were smiling? Okay, and what Buddha had to say was that, you know what, when someone gives you a gift and you don't take it, who does it belong to? He's saying when someone reveals themselves like this in a room full of other people, who, who is actually feeling insulted? Me or the person who's doing it? 80% of this room is going to take my side and is going to support me for being such a horrible. If I answer back, if I spit back, now we are equal. I don't want to be equal with this guy. No chance. Priyanka, your fighting back is making you equal. I want you to be so much higher, Mary Jan. See, whatever you can take from this, of course, what I'm asking you to do is is very hard to do, very easy for me to say, but I'll tell you these are things I have practiced in my family and I can tell you it has served me so much. It took me years to, you know, um, learn to practice. But one of the th rules I made in my life was that I'm not going to speak about my husband's family to my husband. Why should I be the one to hurt him? Okay, I don't want to be that person. I have other missions to follow. I'm going to discuss my work with him. I'm going to discuss my impact with him. I'm going to discuss how much money I make with him. I want to discuss things that will make us grow in our relationship rather than discuss people. The more people I discuss, the more acid I pour in the relationship, which is so important and so valuable to me. Kuch to le le se meri jaan, is jaga se nikal. Okay, and you know what? As you'll rise in your vibration, you'll start to manifest your new house. You'll start to manifest your kitchen. You'll start to manifest staff. You'll start to manifest, manifest everything that you desire. But it's not going to happen at the energy right now you're living at. It's going to happen at the energy when you detach yourself from all of this pain. Yeah, God bless you, sweetheart. Children, homework not complete. I don't know if there's a question there. Same philosophy as Buddhism. Absolutely. I was quoting Buddhism only. Fatima. Ma'am, my in-laws try to make me old-fashioned and orthodox like them. In spite, they know that I'm highly educated and belong to a very well family background. What to do, ma'am? Fatima, I don't know how many years you've been married and I don't know any, enough background about you. But whether you live with them, whether you not live with them, how it is. You know, sometimes it's nice to put up if, if it's a part time relationship. OK, I would love for you to please them. If it is a full time relationship, I would love for you to stand up for yourself. So a lot of what you're asking me depends on the context of what is your relationship with them? What is your relationship with your spouse? For all of you who are asking me in-laws question. OK, my favorite question back is, do you love him more or do you hate them more? OK, and then you have to decide. What do you want to do? Sometimes in compromising with some things in your in-law's house, you start to get compensated by your husband in other ways. What he can give you. He can't control his parents. So it's not his fault, but he's getting the blame. Okay. So I would love for you to re-examine that. Is this relationship part-time? Can I do some things according to them? And can I do some things according to me? Which part is a... a place I'm willing to give and which part is that a place that I where that is completely non-negotiable okay so you're gonna have to work with what it is see they could be old-fashioned because they are older okay it could be because of your religion it could be because of their setup or what their value system is so what you're calling old-fashioned and orthodox may be how their value system is no matter how educated you get the truth is that when we get married, we have to adopt some parts of the new family and some parts bring of our, of our own. And that combination is normally a beautiful combination, which only a woman gets to experience. A man lives in one house all his life, so he only has one viewpoint. We women make and create such a beautiful, lovely new house from the two, two value systems that we adopt. So I would love for you to see that instead of... Uh, writing them off with their ideas see how and what you need to do to bring balance between you and your spouse and how he would like you to be in front of them and how you would like him to be in your in front of your parents so that you can start to come to some middle ground okay now this is me speaking blindly maybe if i spoke to you and got to know more details 
I might just say Fatima don't even try not worth it I don't know so because of the little size of the question I can also only give you answers from all the angles that are coming to my mind yes meri jaan all right Fahim is asking my child is 5 years old I'm confused between going back to work and taking care of my child my child is very much dependent on me what to do can you please give me suggestions of course Fahim so Fahim it all depends on how strong are you financially if your husband is earning well and you can delay going back to work please enjoy your child because can i tell you this time doesn't come back the one regret that i see a lot of women having today is i wish i had known that my children are going to fly off before i even come to know once she is going to proper school and half day is gone you can do a part time job right you can start your own business even if you don't want to go for a full time job if she is dependent on you you want to be with your baby till your baby is of a certain age where she herself or he himself will tell you mom please i have classes to go for mom i have tuitions to go for mom they are going to get today children get so busy so fast you will be surprised okay so i whenever i am given a choice between should i be a mother puja or should i be a career woman career woman you can be for your entire life the period the golden period of a mother is only till 10 years 0 to 10 how much time you spend with your child is more than the time you will spend with your child from the age of 10 to the rest of your life did you know that there's a whole statistics on it 0 to 10 is the golden period with your children this is the only time your children are going to be begging and asking for you very soon it's going to twist around where you will be wanting to be with your kids but your kids will want to be with friends kids will want to go out kids will want to be kids are going to go off to college kids are going to start working and can i tell you i think i am in a place where if i could go back to the golden periods of my children's life and relive them a hundred times around how i would love to do that but i was so busy building my school building my identity building it's not that i didn't give them time but i just feel like i didn't value it enough and i think when somebody asked me mother or fortunately for me i'm super duper close to my children now and we are going for many many holidays together now so if i did miss anything i am fully now making it up and fortunately they are also the kind who love being with us and love traveling with us so that way that's what i got lucky but i'm just going to tell you sweetheart whenever you'll have a choice to be a mother or a career woman and you're financially secure always mother if you are not financially secure then of course where is the choice then you see whatever is the best compromise between the two theek hai i'm going to go right to the bottom just see what's happening priyanka hi i am an hr recruiter i'm very hard working but not getting paid the same way any suggestions Priyanka whenever in life you're not your pay is not a match to your work either you're not in the right job or your skill sets need to improve okay hard working sometimes is not good enough you also need to work with your skill sets so see if you can do any more courses any more learnings that will keep improving you as a recruiter so that you can start to deserve or get what you deserve okay so you need to look at both these things what about my skill sets how can i so we say confidence competency loop it's called okay so how do you increase your confidence by looking for jobs outside and seeing you know what's happening in the market what is people willing to pay what are their requests what is it that they are demanding and you build your confidence by getting really good at what you do so hard work will help your confidence go up competency comes from your skill set so you keep improving your skill set you keep improving your hard work confidence competency loop will keep taking you higher and higher in your job yeah oh thank you can't hear you oops two three of you have can't hear me okay just check what's happening i have no idea because some of you can and some of you can't so that means the problem is not from my side sonika please simplify what is self love what exactly does it mean and how to practice self love sonika i think there are different kinds of self love the most basic one which most of us understand is the self love where we learn to look after ourselves pamper ourselves go for massages go to the saloon go for foot massages go for coffee with friends 
where we basically fill ourselves with self love instead of waiting for other people to love us that's the basic one a little more deeper okay so i will call it a little more core is when you start to respect who you are and how do you respect yourself when you start to say what you mean and you mean what you say you know what happens you start to like who you are and when you start to like who you are slowly and steadily you will start to love who you are the more whatever you feel for yourself eventually you mirror or project into the world the same energy people will treat you exactly how you treat yourself so if you take yourself seriously if your words matter to you if you are in harmony with your mind with your uh, tone with your voice with your heart your mind heart and tongue if they are in harmony that means what you think what you feel what you say flows you will see that that's your most authentic way of being the more authentic you are the more self love you have the higher your self esteem so self love self esteem the higher your self love and self esteem the more it gets mirrored in the world you know when i started out i was at one point begging begging everyone around me for love for appreciation acknowledgement approval validation importance i mean i was just like you know you didn't see that you didn't see that look i do so much for all of you da 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 till i started to work and i realized that my self esteem started to go up as i started to have meaning in my life as i started to have purpose in my life and the more meaning and purpose i lived by the more i started to like who i am then i started to have emotional control because i liked who i am i had no need to prove myself to others to justify myself to others so if someone said something about me or accused instead of getting upset i used to come back into the room and go wow puja you could have easily reacted or blasted but you kept your calm you smiled through the whole thing you are amazing and when that started to happen over time the most beautiful thing happened which is that trust that you build between your conscious mind and your subconscious mind and can i tell you when that pipe opens up guess who starts to now hear you it's like you go from whispering to a loudspeaker with god okay earlier when you were taking your words too casually and you were not meaning what you say even god knows that you know what ah she'll say she wants to wake up in the morning but uthe uthne to wali nahi hai he also doesn't take you seriously but the day from when you start to develop that personality for me the highest form of self love is actually discipline because discipline actually creates freedom the more disciplined you are the more freedom you have in life to be able to do the things you want to because otherwise all the other rubbish starts to come into your life it's the disciplined people when you have routines and you have rituals and you finish all of that guess what you will feel like you know you are the king of the world or the queen of the world and when you feel like that king and queen it's a very different energy it's a very different vibration you emit so see if you can make all of these connections so pure self love for me is actually you meaning what you say say what you mean build the trust between your conscious mind subconscious mind so that god can start to hear you and then you come into the miracle zone okay so this is my definition of self i'm sure there are many but you know when you fall in love with yourself your self esteem goes up and the higher your self esteem the more you believe in life and in yourself the more you believe in life and in yourself all of your life starts to work for you rather than happen to you it starts to happen for you when you take go from that shift of victim to becoming a manifester things will not happen to you things will start happen for you and that's a beautiful place to operate from All right. Prove everyone, but no need to prove. Just we have to do our work honestly. You know what? I'm a big believer of using proving as a as a fuel in my life. When someone says something negative to me, I convert it into. अब मैं दिखाती हूँ and you know what it gives me so much power i know we should not prove to anybody anything but try it out actually i feel like the first 5 years of me working when i really had something to prove to myself and to others i actually put in a lot more effort in what i was doing then i hit a part where i wanted whatever i wanted i wanted to create my own identity i did that i wanted to create my own uh, financial freedom i did that now i didn't know for what i need to work so then i had to find a what i call the mother teresa answer i want to create impact i want to do it for other people and of course eventually 
you will lose all your personal reasons on why you do what you do and you will look for the bigger purpose or the bigger picture of why you do what you do but the years that i was busy proving myself to myself and in some ways to others were actually beautiful wins my celebration of who i was becoming was amazing so while i don't want you to operate from the energy of wanting to prove use those negative sentences that people have said on you and laser focus towards you know remembering them and you will go on a beautiful healing journey one of the ways i say about i speak about revenge is actually no revenge is not in telling anyone what they said is wrong or they shouldn't have said revenge is the sweetest revenge is when you become so successful that all of what they said doesn't seem to become be relevant also it is such a lovely feeling when all of what someone said becomes irrelevant because you went off on a gorgeous success journey kaima khijani how to stick to a diet and not eat emotions <laughs> who am i to teach you this i don't know because i tend to do it myself uh, however having said that um i am a big believer that you know when you're in alignment with yourself when you know why you're doing what you're doing then it becomes far easier to stick to a diet so look for every single day not only just tracking your diet and tracking what you're eating but also start to ask yourself that you know which emotion am i trying to fulfill here what what is that vacuum that i don't know how to fulfill that i'm eating because of and let that emotion or that vacuum speak to you which means journal so let's say you discover loneliness is why you tend to eat then i would love for you to write a letter from to yourself from loneliness so dear loneliness so dear pooja you know what i notice that whenever i'm around you you are so sad you are so upset loneliness is telling me that yeah i would love to for you to have a plan that whenever i do show up what will you eat at that point if you can pre decide that you know loneliness is going to be supplied with eggs and not with chips then that is a fabulous way to be and then you know what like this to every emotion you can give one healthy food and when the more you are pre prepared in battle the better i am no one to give any advice on health or on diet but i am just telling you the things i have been doing so lately i will go into my kitchen i will look at i'll open the fridge i'll look for something and then i'll just say me ko na ande bana de no matter mera dil kar raha hai ka maggi khane ka mera dil kar raha hai ka chips khane ka main bas me ko na ande bana de me ko na ande bana de so see if you have a go to food that you can just ask for so that you don't have to use your brains um i actually learned this from one of the actresses who had spoken about this so i am going to just suggest you if you have one favorite healthy item just start to re repeat and keep eating that till you are able to replace yourself from those emotions that are hurting you now if you do not Uh, process your emotions guess what you are bound to go back to your diets feeling because the symptom is the eating but the healing first has to happen no if you are not going to heal yourself you are going to keep on going back into that vicious cycle pehle mote ho jao fir patle ho jao fir mote ho jao fir patle ho jao this year i am on a spiritual journey i have decided i'm not going to lose my weight through diet and exercise i'm going to lose my weight through alignment with the universe when I, when your power source is in in joined in join is in plugged in with the universe you don't feel hungry you don't feel like eating i want to fast a lot more i want to get spiritual a lot more i want to do a lot more meditation and i want to see if all of the aligning with the universe just makes me release my weight without me doing anything around my diet or exercise and if i succeed sweetheart trust me there's a course coming for all of you then i will teach it okay hey ma pooja ma'am have i've just start, have my startup company now extremely feeling low energy in everything I don't know if I understand that question. Have my startup company now extremely feeling low energy in everything? So I don't know what your connection between your startup company and your low energy is. Actually, normally when you have a startup company, you tend to 
be so excited because there is a vision here there is a dream here that you want to fulfill if your startup company is not pulling you it's not like i remember when i started life by design back in 2011 i remember there were people around me who would be going for movies for parties i would miss everything because i was so busy building this vision that i had for the service that i wanted to give so my suggestion is ask yourself is this startup company really the right company for you because what i've noticed is the other day someone was saying that when they asked elon musk elon musk where do you get your motivation from he said i don't understand your question he said no where do you how do you like when you write a goal how do you raise your energy to he said i don't understand your question he says i don't understand motivation when i desire something i just go for it i don't need motivation and i'm going to ask each one of you why are we depending on motivation why not on a vision so big that you should be every morning waking up with excitement and enthusiasm and i want you to trigger yourself into that excitement and enthusiasm by every day dreaming about your future so fabulous that it becomes your reality sooner than later because of the amount of time you're spending in that beautiful future of yours Trish rise high. Pooja, ma'am, how did you deal? Pooja, how did you deal with expectations of your in-laws in the initial years of your marriage? Do they have any particular expectation like cooking and all? Of course, I think every in-law family will have some expectations. I tried. I tried to impress them. I was quite a people pleaser. I tried to do everything according to them. Unfortunately, I did not succeed. So the harder I tried, the more disappointment I saw on their face. Literally, there were days I think where they were holding my their head. कि ये हम किस कैसा पीस ले आए हैं. So I think a time came in the journey where I realized that you know what? वो तो खुश हो नहीं रहे. मैं भी खुश नहीं हूँ. तो दो लोग क्यों unhappy रहे? Better at least I should make myself happy. and you know what the happier i got eventually they also became happy so i think it was me giving up i remember there was a time maybe 5 or 6 years into my marriage where one day i just got up and i said my brother was moving from Man- uh, manchester to san not manchester sorry michigan to san francisco and it was going to be a 10 days car car drive because he wanted to take his car to san francisco and my parents were going to go with it and i said maybe is trip pe ja rahi hu i had two little children i mean leaving them was not easy at all and by for by the grace of god puneet and my uh, staff was very very good and i lived in a joint family and chachi was there and dadi was there and everybody but they were not so keen that i go this was the first time in the marriage that i stood up for myself and i said i want to go um, of course i had some reasons why i wanted to go so i said i want to go and with with a little bit of conflict i left you know what it did for me it released me from all of the years of obedience of me trying to uh be that daughter in law who i thought i should be and i decided that i'm going to redesign the daughter in law i want to be i was not able to match their expectations so i said you know what let me redesign and then i became okay with if they were not happy because anyway i was not trying so hard you know i started to do the things i used to love i used to love decorating the house i used to hate the kitchen so i stopped going into the kitchen i remember for almost 2 3 years I never used to enter the kitchen. One, I was not good in the kitchen. Secondly, there were already too many women in my kitchen. My mother-in-law was involved. My sister-in-law was involved. I felt like one more person, and that cook will go crazy. कि किसकी सुनो और किसकी नहीं सुनो. So while I had to hear the flack कि ये तो kitchen में घुसती नहीं है from different different people, I didn't care. Fortunately for me, very soon my mother-in-law realized ये तो अच्छा ही कर रही है. And she started to encourage me in decorating the house. And from that whole kitchen conversation, it actually changed to Pooja, you go to Delhi and get furniture. लिया पूजा तू कर्टन्स कर दे पूजा तू एंड आई यू टू लव दैट so i i think found my niche but it took me a couple of years we had it doesn't happen in the first few years it takes time to find your it takes time to disappoint and upset them and then redesign that relationship where both start to realize okay we didn't get what we really wanted but you know what we have is not so bad i'll repeat that sentence both sides will start to at some point say we didn't get what we actually wanted but you know what we got is not so bad and now i can tell you my mother in law and me are like inseparable 
she is the most amazing woman i have learned so much from her the amount she gives she's a giver of another level i i am a very generous woman but there's nobody more generous than her that i personally know of you know she comes into my house she'll keep on tell me pooja main tere liye ye kar deti hu i mean it's a different relationship so if you don't have hope right now i want to just infuse hope back into your life and i want you to know that as you grow as you become more of a woman where you start to understand yourself and you start to appreciate and respect them for what they are and you start to appreciate and respect yourself for what you are you'll start to see the dynamics of the relationship changing completely and if you grow correctly in your life and you remain right and you do your duties even if other people are not happy you continue to be right a time comes where i feel like the garden suddenly blossoms and all of those weeds get plucked out and suddenly relationships start to improve suddenly people start to get you and you start to get people and i truly believe touchwood i live in one of those joint families where i wouldn't want it any other way but for us to be all together <laughs> madhu i feel up by thinking that i'm looking good और आई एम अ गुड पर्सन बट आफ्टर सम टाइम आई रियलाइज क्या मैं अपने बारे में ज्यादा अच्छा तो नहीं सोचती ज्यादा ही अच्छी नहीं हूं मैं मधु यू नो वॉट आई थिंक हैविंग अ रियलिस्टिक ओपिनियन अबाउट योर सेल्फ इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग and you know what what if you are a really nice person what if you are a really good looking person why not own it we live in a world where we are always being told to be humble be humble with outsiders but in your own mindset you should know who you are you know i am not going to criticize myself in my mindset anymore i have worked so hard i have paid so much money to go and improve myself now that i have become better why should i not own it you know right in the beginning when i started to do all of these different different courses some of my friends said you know what puja you've changed and i would say nahi nahi i haven't changed i haven't and i would give my full explanation till one day i realized that main itne paise de rahi hu if it's not changing me fir fayda kya so i made up my mind that i'm going to think ki main caterpillar thi ab main butterfly ban gayi hu ab jo caterpillars mujhe dekh rahe hain unko ye butterfly nahi pasand aa rahi bhai fair enough so next time when somebody asked me pooja you've changed i said oh yes i have worked really hard to change you should also work on yourself my entire response changed i started to own my awesomeness because i said jab tak main nahi own karungi koi aur bhi nahi dekh payega so madhu agar aapko lagta hai aap awesome ho main aapko full permission de rahi hu fall in love with yourself baby in a world where we are not allowed to love ourselves at least we should start with what we think in our mind so we can have no those thoughts ke uske upar bhi pabandi lagegi ab ठीक है सो फॉल इन लव विद योर सेल्फ यू आर वेरी वर्थ इट मोनिशा हाई पूजा आई फील वेन आई थिंक ऑफ समथिंग एंड आई विजुअलाइज इट इट डजेंट हैपन मोनिशा इट मे हैव हैपन टू यू दैट वन और टू सच केसेस वेर यू विजुअलाइज एंड यू गॉट अटैच टू योर विजुअलाइजेशन द मोर अटैच यू आर द मोर द चांसेस ऑफ योर मैनिफेस्टेशन इज नॉट हैपनिंग okay so when you want to learn manifestation the thing is you visualize it and then you release it for something better so you have to sometimes create a little bit of a change in your energy because otherwise our mind will keep showing us evidence that look you visualized it didn't happen i told you for you it doesn't work not true it is visualization is like gravity it cannot not work for you unless you're too attached to the visualization so what's happening now is you visualize it and when it doesn't happen you say see me ko to pata tha mera to nahi hota so can you see how for you you your mind has already got a preset belief system now what i would love for you to do is for some time i would like to you to hack this uh, program how do you hack a program some of the things you know that are going to happen soon in your life you already know it i want you to start to visualize those things okay when you visualize those things and it happens your mind is going to start to recreate the program that says see you visualized it aur ye ho gaya yes somewhere deep down in your mind you will also know ke maine socha hi un cheezon ke bare mein jo hone wala hai but zaruri to nahi hai ki jo cheez hone wala hai wo ho jayegi zaruri to nahi hai what if your visualization played a role aur fir wahan se dheere dheere you grow your visualization connected to ho gaya grow your visualization connected to ho gaya a lot of times i have seen people when they'll be doing their gratitude they'll start to get scared ke nazar lag jayegi they'll stop doing gratitude itself 
for some time when we are creating a new belief system we have to hang in there till things start to turn if too fast we start to expect you know sometimes i'll have people who will come to me and say puja i put three social posts nobody commented nobody even liked teen thodi pehle 90 days to tum sirf library bana rahe hote ho social media pe you just have to keep posting without caring about the likes comments shares subscriptions you you can't care in the beginning it's only library but they don't understand that so they will just go three posts dale koi response hi nahi aaya mere ko to koi response hi nahi karta mere to you i'm going to say do the same okay i in the beginning set goals that feel more realistic visualize things that feel more realistic achieve them from that belief system then start to progress you know whenever i write my goals the sheet before my goals is always the goals i already completed the previous year i first read my completed goals then only i read my new set of goals because i know if i read my new set of goals without reading the pre goals it's going to say this is too hard ye nahi hone wala ye to sab impossible hai because i write massive goals not ordinary goals i'll write goals which are 10 times the size of my current life so when i write those kind of things i need my mind to believe ke ye hoga okay so i have to first build that relationship with my goals how do i do that from the previous year so now i want you to re develop a relationship with your visualization and then move into visualizing things which are harder to get theek hai life coach priya i love my partner so how do i communicate it with him politely so he starts taking care of himself and health and how do i see that our relationship is also awesome so priya the thing about health specially okay uh, and starting to look after yourself is that it's not that the other person doesn't know it is that the other person just doesn't have the motivation or the value system to give it any importance okay and the more importance you will give it the more um what do you call that negativity that or more rebelliousness in within him will start to get created so if you're going to ask me how how to get him to look after his health my suggestion talk only about the things that you appreciate in him okay so abdul kalam if uh, dr abdul kalam our uh, ex president he used to say this very beautifully that when if you go and tell him ki you know my son is smoking can you please tell him not to smoke he said i will never go tell a child not to smoke you know what i will do i will find out from his parents what is he good at okay and i am going to start to appreciate him and what he is good at and i am going to pump him and i am going to build him every addiction or every uh, ignorance towards the right things in life happens because somewhere deep down inside you are doing something that matters to you and this is not so important to you now priya to you it's very important but to him it's not you know i've gotten married into a family where my father in law died of cancer because of which the boys are very careful about their health now i come from a family where my parents eat whatever they like and live a good life so i eat whatever i like and i live a good life yes i live a life 5 kilos more than what i should be but that's my life's biggest problem can you see how sometimes our upbringing is such that god purposely puts healthy people with unhealthy people so that both can keep fighting over that my suggestion from day one itself you remove this topic from your conversation see if you can start to give him the permission to live his life the way he wants appreciate him for what he is doing right and for some time try this out ignore what he is doing wrong and over time you'll start to see at some point his own um what do you call that thing will get awakened where he will feel like looking after himself for other reasons if you think by your saying it's going to happen can i tell you try working on yourself to yourself you will say i want to wake up at 4 o'clock or one nahi hoga to yourself you will say things and sometimes they will not happen when we can't change ourselves how are we ever going to change someone else then why should we get into you know my husband i love reading books he doesn't like reading books okay now for him health comes easily for me health doesn't come easily now if i keep telling him you should read at least 20 pages there's so much knowledge here i've become who i've become by reading is he going to start reading you know what's going to happen we're going to have one more topic between us of conflict now good relationships remove topics of conflict bad relationships bring in topic of conflict and you know what the cover of a bad relationships topic of conflict will be 
I am saying this to him because I care, because I love. To our children, we'll be fixing them because we care and because we love. To our uh, husband, we'll be fixing him because we care, because we love. I would rather you come up with a new strategy. Very soon, I'm going to be launching my relationship courses. If you have the time, do come for them. I'm going to give you the step by step of all the things that you can sit and do with your partner to get onto the same page. The most uh, amazing thing that Puneet and I did was back in 2006, we went on a holiday and we wrote goals for our future. Earlier, we used to write goals for himself. I used to write goals for myself. We had never written common goals. And can I tell you, when we, when we started to write common goals and we started to look at our life instead of walking parallelly, but walking, instead of walking parallelly, we started to walk together. That's when I saw the big difference happening. That's when I saw, I started to go to health farms with him because he was such a health freak. And he started to have reading time in the evening because we wanted to grow our life together. So if without nagging, without being negative, you're able to create a circumstance or a situation where health becomes important in your family, fabulous. But if between choice between health and you nagging is the choice, then I would rather you put this nagging in the dustbin. And you know what? adjust with him making his own choices learn to respect that not everyone will have everything right in their life these are the cards that were dealt to you now love him for who he is the more you can love him for who he is the easier it will be for him to change according to your expectations the more judged he feels the more repelled he'll get see how you can use all of this and when i launch my relationship session i'm inviting you miri jan i would love to help you especially i love taking good relationships to a great level yeah Oh my God, it's already 4.56. Kaise time jaldi se bhaag jata hai? Oh God, so many questions. I'm so sorry. You know, there are so many questions you all keep writing and I would love to answer every single one of them. But unfortunately, we always run out of time and today I really have to run somewhere. So I'm going to go now. All right. Thank you so much everyone for coming. Have a fabulous week. I love you all so much. I can see so many questions. I would love to continue to answer. But unfortunately, I have to run today and I would love for all of you to comment below what was your biggest learning? I'd love for you to comment so that people can come and read what I spoke about. Some people don't have the time to sit through one hour of conversation. All they want is a summary. So if anyone can start to summarize your top three points or your most important point or your biggest bulb on moment or your biggest takeaway and you can just put it under this uh, video, that will be fabulous. Okay, thank you so much. Love you all. Take care. God bless.